This is the VOA Special English Health Report, a yearly meeting of all the member countries in the World Health Organization. Is this week in Geneva, Switzerland? Delegates from the 193 countries discuss progress and set policy for the coming year. The WHO, a United Nations agency, is 60 years old this year. But Director General Margaret Chan, as she opened the World Health Assembly, noted that the delegates are meeting at a time of tragedy. She expressed sympathy to the millions of people affected by the recent cyclone in Burma, also known as Myanmar, and the earthquake in China. Dr. Chan said three crises lie ahead that are international security threats and will all affect human health. One is food security, another is climate change, and the third is the threat of a worldwide outbreak of influenza. She said the world produces enough food to feed everyone. In fact, she added, far too many people are overfed. Yet now, food prices have risen sharply. She noted that the crisis hits the poor the hardest, and that the more a family spends on food, the less it has for health care. The WHO chief said, climate change will also hit the poor the hardest. But to a greater or lesser extent, will affect all countries. She said more droughts, floods, and storms mean greater demands for humanitarian aid, and she warned it will mean a growing number of environmental refugees. And thirdly, Dr. Chan warned of a continued threat of pandemic influenza. She said it would be very unwise for governments not to prepare. She urged delegates to support the WHO resolution on the sharing of influenza viruses for research, and to make vaccines widely available. The WHO this week also released its World Health Statistics Report for 2008. Agency officials say fewer people are dying of infectious diseases. In more and more countries, they say, the chief causes of death are conditions such as heart disease and stroke. By 2030, non-communicable conditions are expected to cause more than three fourths of all deaths. Almost one third of all deaths will result from cancer, heart disease, and traffic accidents. The number one cause of preventable deaths is tobacco. More than eight million tobacco-related deaths are predicted in 2030, 80% of them in developing countries. And that's the VOA Special English Health Report, written by Katie Weaver. I'm Steve Ember.